Hello, this is the Daily Encouragement Message we've prepared for Friday, September 13th, 2024. We are Stephen and Brookseen Weber. Our goal is always to encourage and provide Bible teaching with a message we titled today, The Unshakable Kingdom. Listen for that uh, expression as you hear Brookseen read Hebrews 12, 27 and 28. The words, once more, indicate the removing of what can be shaken, that is, created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. We ended our message yesterday with this truth. When we have an assurance of God's faithfulness, it will keep our inner world from falling apart even though the outer world is falling apart. Well, it sure seems on a global scale we see the outer world falling apart at a hastening pace. And on a personal level, when we experience great loss, our own outer world indeed falls apart. We have in our hearts this morning an email yesterday from a recent widow who lost her husband after 42 years of marriage. She writes, with God's help, I am getting through I am getting through day by day, end quote. Today, let's consider another assurance for experiencing inner peace living in a world that's falling apart. We've heard it said that reality ultimately consists of two things. <clears throat> that which can be shaken and that which cannot. We can narrow it down to this. All that we see with our physical eyes can be shaken. The daily text acknowledges the reality of the shaking of the created order that we've all experienced, although some in far more stunning ways. Consider your life for a few minutes. Look back over those periods of severe shakings. Some surely have had more severe types and perhaps even a greater frequency of shakings. However, there will be very few reading or listening to us today that can identify with the concept of being shaken. In fact, if we think you think about it, we, we can't believe there would be anybody, unless they're too young, I don't know, even young you experience shakings. We so want to avoid the shakings, but a no shaking promise is not included in scripture. Quite the contrary, Jesus warns that believers will have shakings or troubles in this world. We provide a link to John sixteen thirty three, and many of you may yeah, know that quoted, verse. Quoted here in that. this world you will have trouble, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. But we can find comfort as we look at scriptures that point to a future date when shakings will become a thing of the past. In the latter part of the daily text, we are greatly encouraged by these words. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We must intentionally focus on the eternal spiritual realm, on the kingdom that cannot be shaken. It's in the everyday routine of life that we often come upon an unexpected shaking that will detour us from the smooth life we've mapped out for ourselves. But as long as our life's map is tucked into the palm of his hand, no unplanned event, setback, conflict, or major disappointment will foil our future plan of abiding forever and ever in God's kingdom that cannot be shaken. We are receiving, that's very purposeful in the text, we are receiving this kingdom and the present tense verb is quite significant. Jesus taught us to pray, thy kingdom come. Our journey through this life is but a transition to the future eternal kingdom God has prepared for us, the one that cannot be shaken. As we get older, we are keenly aware of how quickly life passes. But I'm also convinced that very early in eternity, we'll recognize even more so the brevity of our earthly journey. But for now, it's all we know. And during difficult periods, it seems long and wholly significant. I addressed that last week. In fact, it was Friday's message regarding time, how it's gone very slow for me during this time of recovery. And... Uh, it's moving a little bit faster now as I get stronger week by week. Well, today we encourage each of our listeners to grasp the eternal perspective. Keep it ever before you. 
we are receiving this unshakable kingdom. It's a definite certainty. Therefore, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Hmm. Well, let's pray with reverence and awe today. Father, today we are thankful for our journey here below. We also thank you for our future heavenly dwelling where we will live in an unshakable kingdom that has no end, where sin and its awful consequences cannot enter, where we will worship you with reverence and awe throughout the myriad of time. How good it is that we can also worship you here with reverence and awe, with thanksgiving and praise even as we live in the midst of a world filled with sin, even as we praise you from a heart that plays tug of war with the enemy of our soul. We want to be purposeful and focus on that which cannot diminish over time, that which has eternal value, and that which will grow our love and devotion to you, our loving Father and Redeemer of our soul. Amen. Amen. Well, as we consider this world of evil that we live in, I, I consider something, I'm, I may write a message about this sometime, but... Uh, may seem a little bit foolish, but I think other pet owners may know what I mean. Our cat uh, really wants to go outside. Now, she's strictly an indoor cat. She's not prepared to be outside defending herself, but uh, the other day I took her for a little walk. I hold her carefully in my arms, and I was talking to my cat. Now, I hope that doesn't make me seem psychotic. <laughs> it's because the cat's the crazy is. about him. So and yes, this cat <laughs> likes me. But uh, I was just with the cat, thanking God for the beautiful world. And then I made the point, marred by sin. And, well, she didn't understand what I meant, but I began to muse on my own, my own theology as I talked about it. And I thought, but some parts so much more so, and some so much less so, marred by sin. Yeah, that's right thought about that in our in our country setting we have great neighbors we face a farm field and and really um, as an old song says the world is it ought to be uh, and yet we can only turn on the news and hear what's going on in the shakings in the yes. world around us yes. anyway we uh, post a couple songs today but one of them is a song I've enjoyed for several years a very thoughtful song titled he sees what we don't not a, I don't think a song that ever became really popular. I don't even know how we came across it. A group uh, unusually named 11th Hour, and it's uh, linked to a YouTube. If you care to go to our site, you can listen to it today. Just one photo, a photo taken from the passenger side. Brooksine snapped this last Tuesday on the way to a worksite visit in Lebanon County. The kind of traffic we see, in this case, just a beautiful horse. You got it in such a beautiful way. Uh, I don't know, what galloping uh, or trot. trotting yeah. position. Mm -hmm. And like an, an older Amish man behind with this big beard. And I make the point uh, how unusual this site would have been when we served a church in the Boston Metro <laughs> back in the 90s. Yeah. It would have stopped traffic. And we're used to seeing it. And Actually, that's true for most of you as well. You just don't see these things that we see. And that's why we often like to post them. There's a, also just a wholesome sense in these photos. Well, thank you for joining us this uh, Friday or whenever you may be listening to us. This is our message Friday, September 13th, 2024. Our website is dailyencouragement.net. And today's message is titled, The Unshakable Kingdom. <laughs> 